thought it, we have 61. I think we have 61 assemblymen supporting it. Mm -hmm. Jeff, Tell me your encounter that you just had in the elevator moments ago with an assemblyman. Sure, so we ran into Assemblyman Ken Zabrowski from Lockham County, and um, we asked him if he supports the statute of limitations reform. And he responded with a question, you know, do you believe in statute of limitations at all? And of course we do. Of course statute of limitations are appropriate for certain crimes and different amounts for different crimes. But in this case, where we're talking about child victims who takes decades to come forward, and right now there's only five years after you turn 18, that needs to be changed. So Assemblyman Zabrowski said he wasn't sure, he hadn't made up his mind. We hope he makes his mind up the right way. We hope he supports statute of limitations reform. This is the eighth year I've been here. We're here with uh, supporting the Child Victims Act by Assemblywoman March Markey that would uh, extend the statute of limitations, which is absolutely the worst in the country as far as New York State is concerned. New York State has the weakest laws when it comes to statute of limitations and child abuse in America. And in, um, so we want to get this bill passed. This is the eighth year I've been. We have tremendous support in the Assembly. We have over 60 co-sponsors from the New York State Assembly. Uh, we're here with a large contingent of group of rabbis, Rabbi Ari Hart and Annie Wax, and many people from around the country have joined us here today. I'm joined uh, by my colleague in the Senate, uh, Senator Hoyleman, uh, who is a, a sponsor <coughs> and also has a, a passion for this bill. Um, the Child uh, Victims Act uh, uh, is something that is important not only to the people in this room, but to my constituents. Uh, they uh, have uh, re-elected me uh, several times, even though people uh, bash me for carrying this uh, legislation. And I, I will say the last time uh, 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 an organization uh, did robocalls, uh, to say not to elect me, I won by 80 percent. So, so the question we have to ask ourselves is who are we protecting here? The survivors or the perpetrators? And I think that's why so many of us are here today. We're here today seeking justice for the hundreds of survivors of childhood sexual abuse and their families by making sure they get their day in court and trying to make our state, our communities, our neighborhoods safer by helping identify the perpetrators, many of whom still have access to our kids. Let me just say that we've had remarkable success in Georgia, a state that was with New York is one of the worst in the country. It's no longer one of the worst. New York stands by itself with Michigan, Mississippi, and Alabama. That's an amazing statistic. And Utah has passed SOL reform, very, very conservative religious state. They've done the right thing. Pennsylvania is on the brink of passing a bill that is going to make a difference for survivors. And so New York, it's time. Let the survivors come forward. Not only is the child uh, a survivor and a victim, but uh, their entire family is as well. And it's so important that, that we speak out. I, I really want to praise uh, Assemblywoman uh, Marge Markey under tremendous pressure who has persevered with this bill uh, for so many years and really uh, fighting uh, for the justice uh, for those survivors. And uh, uh, I think uh, you're getting closer, Marge. I think, uh, I think we're all uh, getting closer. And it's great to see uh, this tremendous uh, support here, interest, and, uh, and media support as well for this issue. It's about time. Thank you. The vast majority of victims never speak out, never disclose. And those that actually do, it takes decades, often, to speak out. Passover, even if you're not Jewish, you know that the children ask the parents four questions. Four questions about Egypt, about our exodus from Egypt. This year, in my family, we added a fifth question. And you know what the question is, Marcy's looking at me. The question is, why hasn't the Child Victims Act been passed in Albany? We have over 60 assembly co-sponsors. We have assembly weapon here. We have so many rabbis here. We have elected officials. Why hasn't it been passed? So this year is our final push. We're going to work as hard as we can, day by day, the legislature, and specifically we're going to be focusing on the Republican senators, if I may say so, and on the governor of the state of New York. Where is he? 
And Kathy meant, where is the governor of New York? I mean, he's supposed to be the spokesman and the leader of our state, and he's absent. We will lobby the governor, we will go to the governor, and we will demand that he make a statement on the Child Victims Act. You know, I, the, I, you know enough is enough. Enough is enough. <laughs> enough is enough. We know, we know very, very well who are the people that are fighting us in the community. We know who's fighting us in the community. The, ironically, <coughs> the ones that are fighting the Markey Bill are the ones with the most to lose if we pass the Markey Bill. You know, in Jewish tradition, there is no such thing as statute of limitations. In Jewish law, there is no statute of limitations. In Jewish values, we have the value to pursue justice, tzedek, tzedek to your dof, to endlessly pursue justice for those who have been denied justice. But you don't have to be a rabbi to know that this is the year. You don't have to be a rabbi to support this bill. It's common sense. 23 years old is way too young to have to come forward to press charges. Being in the likes of Mississippi and Alabama, it's ridiculous. It's an embarrassment to our great state. It's common sense that we should be doing everything we can to protect our kids from abusers who are still on the streets. These are common sense. It's common sense. Unfortunately, though, religious leaders have not always had common sense. And you said earlier that we've been supporting this. I have not been supporting this. I did not know about this. And many of our religious co-religious leaders have been against this bill. That's why this is so important. Religious leaders are coming around. Jewish leaders are saying, you know what? This is an embarrassment. It's, this is the year. It's time to make change. 150 Jewish leaders have had that common sense this year. We're supporting you. We're with you. And we're calling on Albany to do the same. Hear the call of justice. Hear the cry of the oppressed. Protect future abuse victims. Pass the Markey Bill this year. This religious group, this gathering of rabbis and religious leaders is changing history. And this should remind you, you should get a sense of the civil rights movement for children that is now happening and it's following some of the same patterns that the civil rights movement of the 60s followed. The Jews and the blacks are standing up for the oppressed, and it's time for everybody else to stand with them. Is Simcha Felder on board with this? No. He is not. He's one of the four that. Um, caucus. Uh, caucus. Who caucus yeah. with the yeah. Republican. Yes, yes. we've got Rabbi a, Yashim, another event. The senior sage who ruled the Jewish community of law clearly said that in the event of an abuse, we go directly to the police. Okay. So anybody from our good of Israel in America who's trying to change that is wrong and is responsible for our generation. There's so much abuse going on. Thank you.